Over the past month or so, I've been loading up my cart on Amazon, also looking around my house, looking at things that I need to organize a little bit better. That's what today is all about. Part two, if you will, in the series of me getting my life together. It's not, it's like part 278. Will I ever have my life together? Debatable. But I am making baby steps of progress. So today I have a few areas around my house that I'm going to organize, maybe declutter if it calls for that, and kind of like compile, I'll show you, okay? It's kind of like a haul because I have things to help me do that, and then I'll implement those things. So let me show you some of the things. I was just laying them out on my dining room table trying to get everything organized because I did get some other things. So most of this, that's like pantry stuff, this is like kids stuff, exciting stuff, stuffed animal stuff, and then little stuff for drawers. These, I don't really know what to do with, so I guess I'll just explain them. They are stroller hooks, and whenever we go to, they just hook on your stroller. So whenever we go to theme parks and stuff, which we do actually a lot of because we live in Tampa and theme parks are all around us. We go to the zoo, we go to Busch Gardens, we go, and then during the summertime, you know, we're always off in water parks and all that kind of stuff. So wherever you're bringing a stroller, and especially us because we have multiple kids, so we often have like a a bag for food and then a bag for towels or whatever the heck we're bringing. We often have at least two extra bags with us. So sometimes they're hanging off the cart. Sometimes I put them on top of a child. It's hard to shove them underneath, especially if you have the type of stroller that doesn't allow for like much space between the seat and the underneath storage. And sometimes the bags can be pretty hefty. So they often fall off of the stroller. And I found these and I was like, this would be fantastic for putting, even if I just hook it on and then have to put my purse on it or something, I think it'll really prevent it from all of the bags and stuff slipping off because sometimes we just put it over the like push handle, whatever the heck that's called, and then it just like slips off whatever. So I found these, I think it came in a two pack. I don't think I would have bought two of them. <laughs> I think I really just need one. Uh, pretty heavy duty hooks, so I'm excited for those. So I'll put those on the stroller later. Let me think of something simple that I can do right away. Okay, this is one that I've been wanting to do for a whole while. Can you guess? Any guesses? Based off of exactly zero clues that I have given you. It is a bag for all of my nail polish accessories. So like the gel nail polish, I'm moving on up in the world, you guys. I'm becoming a more sophisticated lady. Ah, that's funny. So I follow some gals on Instagram and they make me think that I can be the woman across the room. And I just, I don't, this is a very woman across the room thing to have. I contemplated buying this, but here we are. I bit the bullet and I added to cart and bought it. And instead of storing all of my nail polish and stuff like this on my bathroom counter and it's taking up space and it's like wasting a lot, I don't know. It's just visual clutter and I'm not about that life. You know, I only do my nails like once a week so I don't need it laying out all the time. Look, I also got these really cool gloves. This is important, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> because the little doohickey to like cure your gel nails, this is UV rays. You guys, I know almost nothing. But to prevent sun damage on your hands, which is like the first, one of the first places that shows aging. Hands, your neck, your eyes, the crow's feet, the 11s I've got happening. I've got it all. But to prevent it a little bit, uh, apparently you wear these gloves and it's supposed to, you know, help preserve your youth. So I'm gonna plop those in here, along with my doodads and knickknacks and stuff. I do have to go through this. This is where I normally store my nail polish, and I do have nail polish remover, which I don't even use anymore. I'm so fancy, I have cuticle oil. It came with the kit. I got this kit and I've been loving it, and actually, I went to Home Goods yesterday with Avelina after I dropped off Eleanor at gymnastics. It's a vicious cycle. TJ Maxx is, did I say home goods? I meant TJ Maxx. It doesn't matter. But we went there. She had a return to make and I was like, oh, let's brag. You know how they get you right at the checkout lane? This kit came with so many like random little tools that I never use. I'm looking for the cuticle pusher, which I don't even really use anyway. Oh, here it is. Okay, so at the checkout lane, you know how they have all those impulse buys. Sometimes they have the coolest stuff right there. But they had one of these nail cures with a few buttons on it. Looked like a cat. It took everything in me not to buy it. I was like, you have one, you don't need one. But like, did I need one that looked like a cat? You know the answer. <laughs> if you don't know the answer, it is yes. So this is really neat. Ooh. 
because it comes with a little bottom here that I can just put my nail polishes, even though I only have like trial size of nail polishes. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, so I'm gonna take a moment to organize my nail stuff because I'm a sophisticated lady. Just look at me. Isn't that the first thing that came to your mind when you saw me today? That is one sophisticated lady. I'm gonna title this video Sophisticated Lady. I do feel like a sophisticated lady with my little pudding. Isn't there a song, Sophisticated Lady? I don't know why there are buckles here. That's kind of unnecessary. Ooh, a whole dang strap just in case I wanna lug this around. Not sure where I'm going. Where do all the sophisticated ladies go? Ooh! I'm gonna have to look up the video and see how she organized her sophisticated lady nail kit. All right, this goes here. I say sophisticated lady one more time. I hear it. And a sophisticated lady, lady. B -b -b Benny and the Jets, Benny. I don't even use this crap in either. All right, cuckoo, cuckoo. I don't know. So I'm obviously still very new to this like nail salon <laughs> situation happening. Nail salon at my house. I love so many things about it. One, my nail polish doesn't chip, which is incredible. And I mean, it starts to peel, but that's probably my fault. But it's like after a week. And I'm thinking, why did I wait so long to buy one of these things? And then two, I love that this whole thing, well, maybe not the case included. Well, the case alone and then the nail polish set alone costs less than one trip to the nail salon not that I'm someone who goes I get my I used to get my nails done once every two years <laughs> let that soak in for a little bit like it was you know a ooh, someone's having a baby shower here and let's get our nails done or oh um I'm about to have a baby and my sister loves to get her nails done so she wants to hang out with me let's get do you know what I mean like that's I feel like and then in my head I'm thinking wow, I should probably get my nails done because I show my hands a lot. So whatever. I finally got this and I'm glad that I did. I'm not, it's, I'm not like up to snuff. I don't have the best nail polishes, but they're working and that, that's good enough for me right now as a beginner and I'm loving the way that this turned out. I'm getting rid of just a few colors of nail polish and I'll still use this on my toes, on my kids, whatever. There's actually spilled nail polish at the bottom of that bin, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not, but check this out, a true sophisticated lady. Feeling like a whole nail salon here. So this is really nice. This whole bin is really quality, so I'm happy with it. I guess I will put the strap on for no other reason other than what else am I gonna do with <laughs> it? Ooh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Ignore what's happening in my sink. I want to bring your attention to this amazing stack of goodies. Life with Lainey really has me going here. So she shared on Instagram uh, these really cool things and I was like my kids first of all love to paint second of all would paint every single day some of them do they make a complete mess and then the supplies are all around the house most of them are in Eleanor's room because she is our true artist our painter but Meredith is wanting you know she asks to do it a lot hydro flasks I put together the art bins in the last organizing video upstairs um, and that's been working out really well. The kids go up there, they draw and stuff. The paint is a little higher, uh, but I did want to make a specific spot down here because a lot of the times we like do it on this table while I'm, you know, cooking or doing whatever. So I found these really neat sets on Amazon and they're Melissa and Doug, wouldn't you know it? It's like one of my favorite brands for kids toys and stuff. And it's paint with water, which is genius. So I just got the kit that had all three, but you could buy them individually. Perfect for the beginner painter. It comes with a paintbrush and everything. So I think she's going to love it. And then I found this. And I was like, this is incredible. I need to figure out a spot. Under the stairs storage, I feel like there's a bin in there where I could just put it all. Oh my gosh, oh, I gotta assemble this. What is this, a construction site? It is without instructions. <laughs> okay, it can't be that complicated. Famous last words, right? All right, this goes here. Uh, maybe, that doesn't seem right. Mm. Easy mounting with just one screw. Huh, what? This is worse than Ikea. Oh, okay, this goes here. There? Okay. Wait, does it go here? Easy mounting. <laughs> okay, this does go here. I don't know, it goes here. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. I don't got it, I don't got it, I don't got it. All right, all right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Maybe they should do something in the 
lock this one in place, maybe a little bit. <laughs> 30 minutes later, <laughs> allow me to demonstrate. Hold on. So you know when you're painting and instead of having a full cup with like, it, ours always spills, I don't know. So instead we do this. Is this right? Doesn't seem right. <laughs> no, something's wrong. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm missing a piece. Where's that little piece I'm missing? Ah, oh, there it is, there it is. There. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Banging on all cylinders here. Let's try this again. This actually is awesome. There it is. Imagine, if you will, painting with a toddler. I should have a paintbrush in here, sure enough. So we're painting, we're having a good time, we're swishing out the colors, and Watch this little trick here. If that has like pink color in it and we don't want our next color to be washed away, we just drain it. Uh-oh, it broke. I didn't put it on right. There we go. I just put the little plunger back in. All right, let's try this again. Ah, shoot. Okay, I think I got it this time. I'm gonna DM her and say, Lainey, you scammed me. There it is. All right, you just have to assemble it correctly. I just needed more instructions is all. So it's full. You do your little swish and swash and stuff, and then you drain it and get fresh water. Ah, isn't that amazing? That's so cute, I love it. All right, now that it's assembled, no one touch it. So I just did my under the stairs storage organization and I have a few baskets in there and I thought this would be just the perfect little size, easy to take out all in one fell swoop, put on the table, paint, and then throw it right back in when we're done. So I'm going to put everything in here. This thing really is cool once you take time to actually assemble it correctly, so that's fun. And then the last and final stretch of this, well, obviously paints, those are upstairs, so I'll put some in here, but I found this paint pad too. So instead of what we did for the longest time, I don't know why, mostly because I'm not an artist, and if you don't know things, you don't know them. So instead of getting canvases, which is what we did for a long time, because one, they're pricey, I tried to find them at thrift stores, garage sales, whatever, and you can find them pretty affordable that way, but it's not always simple or accessible, the painting sheets, and first of all, canvases, when they stack up, it's like hard to store them because they're so big and large and in charge. But the paint pad, this one has 20 sheets and it's just like a really thick sheet of paper. I don't know what the cardstock is here. I'm, I don't know, but it's really thick and it's not gonna bleed through, I don't think so. I can just rip one of these off. They can paint their little heart out and that'll be that. Oh, and hold on, I have more, I almost forgot. I actually have a ton of washable paint in my closet along with paint brushes from Went Wolfgang's birthday party because we did like painting the pumpkins and stuff. Okay, this is so fun. This is another thing that I found. So it's just a silicone mat. So it's easy, you can fold it up. You can easily wash it. It comes with this retractable kind of bowl here if you're wanting to put the water. Oh my gosh, is it magnetic? Oh, that's wonderful. So it doesn't tip over very easily. Well, I mean, a little bit of force will do it, but, and you can hold your little brushes there. That's darling. Anyway, so you can put the paints in here, you know, paint that you're using a lot of, and if you're not using paint brushes here. So I just thought this was really sweet. It came in a ton of different colors. It doesn't have the rimmed edge like the Play-Doh mat I got does, but it does have a spot for paints. I got one of these for Eleanor several months ago and she loves it so i thought you know what it's time to get one for meredith too because she does enjoy painting so i'm gonna fold this up and just plop it in here too i have those really nice paint brushes that i bought but i can't find them i think they're upstairs i'm just kind of too lazy to go look for them so i'm just gonna pack everything up in here perfect and then i'll throw some extra i mean they come with little paint brushes but you know how kids are they want a variety so this is a perfect little painting kit Probably a very bizarre spot to uh, share with you an organizing item. Yet here we are. Every time I take a shower, it is a dilemma. Where do I hang my towel? We only have one towel rod. Normally that's like to wipe my hands after I wash my hands, you know what I mean? So I thought about getting hooks and hanging them here and I was like, I don't wanna put holes in the wall. I don't know about that. I don't know where a good spot to put it is. Do I put it there? Do I put it in the shower? I bought some shower hooks for tile. I don't know, nothing is working out. So I'm gonna try these. I saw someone using them. They are over the door. Oh, I actually don't know what they're called. Over the glass, through the looking glass, Alice style. So on the inside of the hook, it's padded, so it won't ruin the glass, but the outside is like this 
material, I don't know, tin, metal, aluminum. And they looked pretty long because the shower up here is pretty tall. I don't know if I'm going to be wanting to hang my towel to like have an eyesore here. Maybe I'll do it on this side. They came in a pack of three. So I thought, you know what, let's just give these a try. And then I feel like those are really tall, but I can reach them. So they look nice up there. I know that they're not going to ruin the shower here, whatever this is called, like the glass on the shower. They're not going to ruin it because it has that really nice padding, but I'm worried about hanging a wet towel here and then having to clean this twice as much as I already do, which is really only like once a decade. But from like the water dripping off the towel, do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna try it out. I'll see how it goes. You know what else I've been trying out? This little magical number that I got for Christmas for $4. I wanna say it was $4. Maybe it was $5, but it is just oh, a towel warmer. You guys, you know I love to buy secondhand, get from thrift stores, garage sales, whatever. Alex actually found this at a garage sale and it sells for like $100, $150 on Amazon. It's insane. The quality of this thing, I'm like, this is gonna break. I will say, it is really nice to get out of the shower and have a nice warm towel. I'm not a sophisticated lady yet, but I imagine this is what sophisticated ladies do. And in order to become that lady, I have to pretend I'm that lady. <laughs> not that I even wanna be that lady, but anyway, I thought, oh, that's interesting. So since we found it for a deal, a steal of a deal, we've been trying it out. The kids love it. I enjoy it. Could I live without it? Yeah. Is it worth $150? No, I would never, not for $150. $5, yeah. <laughs> it has been especially nice in the winter months, but I also only shower like once a week anyway, so. All right, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. what's next? I'll go with an easy one over here. My hydration station. It's actually the highlight of my life lately. And I'm saying that unironically. I love this little station, this hydration station drawer that I have put together. Some people have coffee drawers, some people have tea drawers. I have a water drawer and I couldn't love it anymore. The kids are even loving it. There's so many options in here. I feel like it's like a healthy option too. Not that tea and coffee isn't. We have probiotics put in here. These are unflavored. I have liquid IV, sugar-free. This is like a probiotic one. Instead of hot cocoa, it's like a chocolate collagen peptide, so like a healthy version. Loving that. Also just found out that Element sells a chocolate version, so I just ordered that. It's not in yet, but I'm loving Element too. This is a hydration stick, plus it has, you know, extra things in it, magnesium and stuff for your body to heal after a workout. And then my tried and true liquid IV, love that stuff. And then I just just tried the sugar-free liquid IV. Oh my gosh, heaven. This is the white peach, amazing. I don't miss any of the sugar in this. They, I don't even know why they sell it. Just sell it sugar-free, it's amazing. And then the vitamin C, the kids love these, I do not. But we've been buying these for years and years and years and years. And then I've been on a bloom kick, so this is like greens and I think it's good for your gut health too. I will say the bloom greens taste really great. Do I feel healthier? I don't, I don't really. It's supposed to be good for digestion, bloating, and energy. I will say I've noticed a bigger difference taking the Ritual Symbiotic, which is a prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. I've noticed a bigger difference taking that than taking this. I don't know if this is doing anything, but I'm gonna keep taking it because I bought it. And I did want to add to this drawer. What did I want to add? Oh, I bought these to make it more streamlined. I don't even know if they're gonna fit. Oh, dude. I am enjoying having this. The kids really love it, I think, the most. But it's like a mixer, whatever. I do have her mixers, too, that I could add to this drawer eventually. Um, I like the size of these. I wish they were all this big. Like, these are really this big, but just with excess packaging. And I don't know how they do it all. But I feel like these will fit in here. I just don't have any more this size. I wish I did. Maybe I should have bought some. But I did find some of these just for this one. Oh, that barely fits. I don't know, I'm trying to maximize this space. I feel like that looks worse than it did before. <laughs> I'll just leave this here. Now this won't slosh around. Pretty good, and if you're looking to get like more water mixes like this. The Her Mixers, I've heard people rave about these. I just personally haven't tried them yet. They actually sent those to me, so 
eventually I'll try them. Also, I bought these. They are liquid IV for kids, and I didn't even know they sold it, so that's exciting. And then the Go Hydrate, I bought these too. And this is really great too. This is sugar-free. It's like a hydrator and it has vitamin D in it. So if you're looking for something like that, the Cohydrate brand, I feel like that's pretty good. But for what it's worth, I mostly reach for Element these days. And then of course the white, the sugar-free white peach one. Unless it's a hot cocoa night, in which case. I recently organized this. I just felt like I needed to round it off, but I feel like I didn't really do much. <laughs> so next up might seem a little ridiculous, but I bought an egg organizer. It's not a, your typical one, okay? Just hold off, hold off. Why do I have to assemble this crap? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Don't they know I'm not a DIYer? How many did I order? Why are there so many? in here. So typically the egg organizers in the fridge, well, I'll show you. I hardly have any eggs left, don't judge me. But it comes in th like this, and for me, I always store stuff on top of this lid. And so when I need an egg and it's all the way in the back, I'm like trying to lift this up and then shove my hand inside and then I'm like trying to get the eggs. It seems pretty insignificant, but it is a very large part of my life. It is a frustration. And then I'm like, why do I even do this? I don't know. And so I found this. I don't even know how to assemble it. How can it not come with instructions? Three layer? How many eggs do I think I'm gonna have? All right, three layers. I do have some chickens that are about to lay. They should start laying in a few weeks, couple weeks. Maybe this is the top. Well, it's so simple it doesn't even need instructions. Why did I think three tiers was the way to go here? Well, you know what? Apparently, I am going to have a lot of eggs soon. And whenever I go to Costco, I like to get the five dozen box. And what happens is I fill this guy up and then the rest of the eggs stay in the box in the uh, garage fridge and then it just takes up so much room. So I thought, oh, that's unsafe. I'm gonna have to super glue this or something. Oh no, no, I just didn't do it right. That's on brand. Sophisticated ladies, don't assemble things. What in the tude? Oh Lord almighty. This, that's gotta be up then, right? Okay, <laughs> it was. That's much better. Yeah, that's a lot better. How could I love an inanimate object so much with before I've even really used it? A three-tier egg organizer. So the beauty of this is that you just fill it up with eggs and it's on a slight slant. So when you get an egg, it just rolls. The next one rolls to the front. I thought this was genius. Needed it, not a want. It is a need. So I guess I'll fill this up and uh, See what the hype is all about, even though no one has hyped it up. I'm the only one hyping. This is amazing. It looks like each tier holds a very significant amount of eggs. And here is the kicker. Are you ready for it? It's almost Gasparilla, so I gotta get my pirate voice on, okay? One egg. It's such a tiny little inconvenience in my life, but it happens every day. Amazing. Now I just have to see if the three tiers fit in my fridge. No, it won't fit, but you know what? I can either take a tier off. It's worth rearranging. <laughs> All right, here she is. She's beauty and she's grace. I've never been more excited about something in my whole life, I don't think. I'm loving this. Lo just, hey. Look at that slight incline. Oh, decline, I guess. That's amazing, right? I don't care what you say, that is gonna change my life. Ah uh, yes, my pantry that we just tidied up. So, I've been eyeing a few things. <laughs> Exhibit A. Uh, I had no idea, first of all, one, that these were so big, and two, that I ordered so many. I have eight of these. Okay, I don't know what I'm thinking, but I guess I'm thinking I'm about to organize my life. For the most part, this pantry is really working with me in terms of organization. I love the baskets deal. I'm not as much as a micro organizer as I am like, well, I don't know the term for it. Get a basket, shove everything in. <laughs> As long as it's hidden and looks semi-organized, in my mind, I'm like, yes, that is organized. So some people look at my pantry and think, wow, you're so organized. I'm like, it's all an illusion. Macro organization is what this is all about, okay? They see, ooh, the baskets, but really inside the baskets, it's just a big old mess. Like that, don't ask me what's in it. That, I don't know either. <laughs> 
I should label them. I think there's like cake mixes in one, sprinkles and accoutrements in the other. I don't really know. These are labeled so like nuts and dry fruit and all that good stuff. Adult snacks, kids snacks, crackers, chips. You understand. This side, however, is begging for some attention and I'm not even talking about the condiments down there because this is where we really stockpile our food too. I know some people have food storage rooms or basements or certain areas in their house where they use just for food storage. Uh, we are lucky enough to have this massive pantry and even if I needed more storage, I'm just thinking here, I could add another shelf up top. I could even go on this wall up top and add a shelf if I need to. For now, like this is working for us. I'm not at that level where I'm like canning everything and preparing for the apocalypse, which I know some people do. We're not preppers yet. <laughs> I don't even like camping, okay? But I do have a lot of kids, and especially after 2020, if that taught us anything, it's to have a slight back supply, right? So I do have overstock of flour, sugar, oatmeal, those kinds of things. Rice is a big one that we eat. And then also spices up here. So like I'm, so what I'm trying to get to is we're shoving a lot of stuff. This is not just every day, what are we eating? It's like, oh, months down the road, this is stuff that we would, be eating from. You get what I'm trying to say. This is kind of the bane of my existence in my pantry, just this area. If I don't know where something goes or if the kids are putting stuff away, they just throw it here. Also, this is like bread, cereal, that kind of thing. I don't use this anymore. Is there stuff in here? Did someone, oh my gosh, someone, oh, that's so cute. I bet Wentworth did that. He loves these things. And really during summertime, I put them out and it's exciting because, you know, they wake up and it's more of a lazy thing. You know, the summertime is more lazy. He can get cereal. We don't do cereal, really. But I did buy these Cocoa Krispies for a recipe that I never did. And then also this was for like a protein recipe that I never did too. We do like Catalina Crunch, which is really good cereal. It's like keto, I think no sugar and protein, that kind of thing. So anyway, this is where our bread goes. I have like mac and cheese that I like to stock up on here, bagels, that kind of thing. However, even though there are baskets, the organization is kind of lacking. So I did find these on Amazon. They come in a few different sizes, and I want to say they had one that was larger than this, but when I went back to order it, it was out of stock. And then I went back like a couple weeks later, and it wasn't even available at all. So I just ended up ordering these, and I feel like, well, oh, maybe the other ones are large. I'm going to go open the other pack. Hold on, before I do that, I did find these much more affordable. I got three of them from Home Goods or TJ Maxx or something for $17 for three of them. And this will is big enough to hold a uh, loaf of bread and they're stackable, which is what I thought. Listen, I need to maximize the vertical space here, okay? No, they are the exact same size. So I probably thought, oh, if I'm stacking two, I hope I measured right. If I'm stacking two here, two here, and then I have so much more space for more. So we'll see how it works out. The baskets are, you know, they're working okay, but it could be better. Have you guys seen that guy from Papa John's? Is that Papa John's? We just do it better. You know what I'm talking about. Also, I have a problem. <laughs> buying holiday stuff and then like never having time to actually do it. So this is a priority. I'm going to have the kids just make these. Might as well clean it up while I cleared it out. Let me say like five things, okay? I'm probably going to forget four of them, but let me start by saying I stink and love my pantry. This is the pantry of my dreams, and I always like looked at other people's kitchens. I'm like, oh, sure, you your life is organized because look at all the space you have. Sure, right? It's easy to make judgments, but um, I feel like now that I say this with a grain of salt. Life is settling down, which I feel like it's not at all. But I don't have a newborn attached to me all the time. I don't have a, you know, I do have a clingy toddler, but whatever. He's not on me right now. So I'm taking steps to like get the pantry of my dreams. And I love the way that this turned out. I love how much storage is in here. I love this so much. And I think back to, you know, my previous pantries and what I could have done differently. And I really think double stacking bins like this is a great solution. It is the answer. Okay. I feel like I have double the storage here on each shelf and it's fantastic. So I got these bins from the target dollar spot. I think they were, th some of them were three, some of them were five. I don't know how many, I think I got three of them. Um, and 
So I wanted them for the spices in here because really I just had them in bins and they got lost and I would, listen, I have like four containers of nutmeg because during the holidays, I'm like, oh, I need nutmeg. So every time I went to the grocery store, which was, you know, very often during the holidays when you're doing a lot of cooking and a lot of baking, you know, you're running to the grocery store a lot, or at least I am, I should use more I statements. So I would, you know, pick up nutmeg every time I went. I'm like, did I get it last time? No. Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> I should have kept a better list on my phone. But anyway, I'm throwing away stuff that is expired and I'm not even getting rid of that much, but just implementing different storage systems in here makes it look a hundred times better. I did get rid of, uh, let me look back to that expiration date. So this one, you guys, 2018. What? How, how did we move with this? We moved in like 20. 21, I think. The end of 2021. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And this expired in 2020. It's yeast. I thought it was supposed to last a really long time. Maybe if I put it in the freezer, it lasts longer. Is that the whole shtick? But I got, a, I was thinking of getting rid of it anyway, because I've been on a sourdough kick, you know, in my homestead and all that good stuff with my jello pouches. <laughs> but I do have a very large oversupply of general spices for me, that consists of salt, pepper, and garlic seasoning. And that's just in case, you know, if something ever goes wrong again, you want to make sure, well, I want to make sure that I have something to season my food. Okay. That's a very important component of it. So that's why I have that. And then of course the general spices that I have an oversupply of, especially after the holidays, you know what I have that kind of blew my mind. Uh, what is it called? Cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. I have like four containers. Again, what? And then cloves of all spices. I'm like I, I couldn't use this many cloves in a lifetime. In five lifetimes, I have plenty of it. But what I wanted to say earlier was the vertical space, the double storage. I do want to order more of those bins, the stackable bins that I used on the bottom shelf and put them on the top shelf. I got so much more organizing to do. So I think I'm going to place that order today. It is a hard purchase to make because they are so pricey, but I know that they're going to be in my pantry for the rest of my life, question mark. I don't know. I feel like they're going to last forever. And I, they, I just feel like they look really nice. The kids came home that day and they were, they said, wow, they were so impressed. And I was so happy, like without even me prompting, Hey, look what I did. The pay. Just, you know, because that's the first place they go when they get home from school. They were like, Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I said, very much appreciated. Love the support and encouragement. So I'm glad that I got this done and I'm impressed at actually how good it looks with the very minimal effort that it took me to achieve it. So great, I'm just taking it all in. I don't even think I got a proper before shot of this, but oh my gosh, it feels so much better. And I will say these bins, while it's looking kind of bare right now, I mean, not really, it's like halfway full, which is nice. There's room to grow. And then also I have to go grocery shopping soon. So it will be full lure. Not that it really matters, but I love how it's double stacked. And I want to do something similar up here because we have a lot of some more stuff, a lot of treats up there, just a lot of stuff that I don't want the kids to access, but I want to be able to see. And also I think these bins would be the perfect addition up there. And I love the size. I think it worked out really well. And then the spices up here, I got those risers from the Target dollar spot, another great find. And it looks so much clearer even though I barely got rid of anything. They say you can't organize without decluttering, but I'm really busting that myth, okay? Because I really only got rid of a handful of spices that were expired and like the packaging of some stuff. So this is great. This is great, I'm having so much fun. Okay, organizing around my house. I have this little corner cabinet. It's not a corner cabinet, it's a teeny tiniest little cabinet. Everyone, I feel like, has a cabinet like this. Every house I've ever owned has had this teeny tiny little space. And they think, oh, it'll be great to store all your things. And at, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't even think it's big enough for the organizing item that I bought. I didn't measure, which is my fault. Okay, eight and a half inches. Let's see about this. No, ma'am, this is barely six. Rats. Well, I guess I should. I guess I could declutter in here. I don't want to though. I love everything that's in there. I'm just gonna give it a good close. All right. So I guess I'll share this with you in case you have a spot in your house that is eight and a half inches wide. I just, oh my gosh, I think it's so cool. 
I'm sure there is some assembly required, but it's basically a rack, but it pulls out. Like what? I feel like this Ikea has something similar to this. I'm gonna have to look around. Maybe, it, maybe it's a kidney bean shaped. I'm not really sure, but I feel like this is a product that Ikea would sell. And it has like dividers where you can put racks and they won't flop completely over, do you know what I mean? So it looks like there are three spaces in here. And the benefit I thought to this was that it slides out. So you don't have to like dig around in a cave when you're looking for something. I was really looking forward to this. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. That's on me, I didn't measure. I'm trying to think like, can I put it anywhere else? <laughs> I don't think so, this might be a return. But they did have a couple of different sizes, so if you're looking for something else. I saw it on Instagram, because that's what Instagram is feeding me these days, all the organizing. It's like top organizing products, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. Obviously, Instagram is pushing organization products on me because organization is my middle name lately. So they hit the nail on the head here. All right, I guess I'll just live my life with flopping tins. This is something that I found that I thought would be very beneficial to my life. It is uh, the ba another bane of my existence. I'm just trying to lessen the banes of my life. So this is a big pocket stuffed animal toy storage. How many stuffed animals do your kids have? We have purged so much over the years, so I want to say they have a lot less than they used to. I don't buy any. I don't I don't think I buy any. But somehow they accumulate them. And the Hatchimal no wait, what are those things called? The big stuffed animals, the I don't even know what they're called. Squash mallows. Why? Why? Also, Costco has them for like $10, so everyone thinks this will be a great gift and it's affordable. I'm like, please stop. So, my kids have plenty of them, mostly Eleanor and Meredith. So, Meredith has some, and I recently like decluttered her room a little bit, so I found a little spot to shove them. She had books up here before, but I did the book storage upstairs, so I just moved all the books up there. Well, mostly all the books. She still has a few down here. But anyway, I just shoved all her stuffed animals in there. Previously, they were just hoarding on her bed. So, that's working out, but Eleanor still has a ton, which she's kind of organized too. So, some of them are on her bed, her favorites, I guess, and then some of them are on her little chair here, and then some of them are just shoved in the corner. They're all over the place, right? So I found this, and it hangs over the door, so I thought that would be a space saver, and apparently it's got big pockets. I don't know if a humongous squash mallow will fit in there. I guess we're about to find out. Shouldn't it be too hard to assemble? So wish me luck here. I thought hard about this because I don't want to encourage all of the stuffed animal. It seems pretty simple and it also comes with these rods that I guess just help keep it structured here. So I'm just gonna slide these in. There's a little Velcro closure so they don't fall out. That's really nice. And then it comes with like these over the door hooks that you just slide in. I'm actually not sure if I could reach the top of this door. <laughs> All right, pretty nice. I do like how it has four hooks up here. It keeps it nice and stable. I've seen a lot of these with just two hooks, but this is really sturdy with the four. Okay, all right, let's see what fits in this crap. Squash mallow numero uno. Squash mallow numero dos. Squash mallow numero tres. Okay, so clearly this is made for like smaller stuffed animals and not these honking guys, but hey, it still works. It still facilitates them. It's not falling over. It's still very sturdy. So if you need stuff off the ground, this is perfect. The pockets are really nice and stretchy. So that's good. I'm impressed. I'm just going to see what Eleanor wants to do with this when she gets home because I don't know if she wants it to look like this. There's also a pocket way up top too. So I could add another squash mallow in there, but there it is. Cool, cool. I really wanted to tackle my tool drawer in here. Oh gosh, I can't even open it. See, you know things are bad when you can't even open the drawer. Okay, here it is. Uh, exhibit A, none of my tools are here. <laughs> it's just supposed to be here in this. But I did buy a bunch of kits from Ikea to replenish everything that I got because I can't find anything. Like, of course I have this one, but it doesn't fit in here. It's not supposed to be in here. It's like Alex's from 100 years ago. Oh! For the days I thought I could DIY and paint. This is a pipe dream, but we're gonna keep a hold of those. So I'm just gonna 
declutter this drawer and organize it with my tools that should be in here and get rid of this stuff that, oh my gosh, my kitchen shears. Like what are these doing in here? Batteries, I have a battery holder for that. I also have tools, here's my new tool set. So Ikea has the blue ones now, ooh, so fancy. So I'm gonna go through and just put in here what actually goes, also my drill. Amazing. And uh, that'll be that. So this tool drawer, I guess I could use it for other things. I just don't need that much storage for laundry type items. And, ooh, I actually, ooh, I need to write this down. I um, am needing to, like, stock my laundry room, if you will, because... I am trying to go through what I have had. Like, I don't know, I feel like six months ago, a year ago, I really stocked up on all of the laundry items that I use. Some of those items I don't really use anymore, but it's time for me to kind of replenish my stock because I'm running low, finally, which is like, it goes by so fast. It was really probably like three months ago because that's how often we do laundry. <laughs> but I'm needing to, you know, restock and so I'm going through the items and I just ordered some more Blue Land laundry tabs because I really enjoy those. And um, anyway, so I'm thinking like, what are these drawers in here for? What, what did they, what did the previous owners use this drawer for? Because I can't imagine it was all laundry. I don't really know. For me, it's tools and it's easy access. I don't have to walk all the way to the garage, which is literally like four more steps <laughs> to the garage. This is the access point to the garage. But I feel like in the garage, those are Alex's tools. He has his own non-organization out there. And I'm going to keep my organization happening in here. The problem lies when everyone else uses all of these tools and then doesn't put them back. And I'm like, oh, where are they? So I'm setting up the system and hoping that everyone else can kind of follow suit here. I think it'll happen. So I'm clearing out everything I don't need. This is garbage, the batteries need to go elsewhere, and then just random stuff, the scissors in the kitchen drawer, etc. But this is how I imagine this drawer should always be looking. So fresh, so light, don't need a lot in here, just the basics, and it, it's exactly how it should be. I just get in the habit of like, oh, this goes in the garage, let me just dump it here. Do you know what I mean? And then I'll deal with it later, and then later never comes. So. This is really, I love the way that this looks. And then this drawer over here is full of like hanging stuff. This is all from Ikea too. Some night lights, a flashlight, just random stuff. But this is mostly like if I'm hanging stuff, I like these little kits too. So that's great. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for organizing some stuff with me and putting things together. I feel like slowly but surely I'm getting this house in order and it feels really good. So thanks for coming along this journey with me. <laughs> the journey. But that is it. So until next time, I've already started compiling a list of things for the next organizing video. We'll see when that happens. But if you want to stick around, subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.